Privet, Yakun, and today I'm going to give you the entry of Russia at Eurovision 2021, Manija, with the song Russian Woman. Every Russian woman needs to know, you're strong enough to box against the wall. Every Russian woman needs to know, you're strong enough to box against the wall. Little Big announced on their Instagram page that they didn't want to represent Russia again this year because that would mean that they had to create a song that would be a competitor to their previous entry Uno. So instead, a national final was organized for the first time since 2012 to decide the Russian representative. This felt like it was held pretty last minute. Three acts competed in this national final and one of those three was Manisha. She only had two days to prepare for her performance and won. The winner was decided only by televotes. Manisha has opened up about a lot of hate she has gotten. She's gotten messages of people saying they hope her plane to Rotterdam will crash, that she should go back to her own country and just really hateful stuff. There's also an investigation going on about her song because of it being too extremist. Yet Manisha has said that she won't back down and she'll still compete at Eurovision, which she has been wanting to do for a very long time. She also said that she does not think that people are mad for saying things that aren't true in her song, but mad that she's saying things that are true and basically holding a mirror in front of the Russian people and Russian society. Look, even though I agree that it's a bummer that we won't have Little Big on the Eurovision stage this year, and I do hope that they will return one year, the only artist who I'd want to replace them with would have been Manisha. And she is going to Eurovision. <laughs> Uh, I discovered her music in 2018 and have been wanting her to go to Eurovision for Russia since and she has been wanting to go for a very long time too. I love her song Izmurut, that's the first song I discovered of her. Her music raises so much awareness to so many issues from domestic violence to racism and being an immigrant, she herself was born in Tajikistan and also about women's rights like Russian woman. Her performance of Russian woman during the national final and the song in general have so much symbolism in it so let's dissect some of it. In the beginning of the performance, she references the book Aliye Parusa or Scarlet Mills, in which a man shows up in a boat to make a woman's dream come true. And after she reveals a scarlet jumpsuit, she says, which means get up and go because she makes her own dreams come true herself and also look at the lyrics do what you want don't do what you want you're almost 30 where are the kids wear a short skirt wear a long skirt it's basically just repeating what people are telling women in russia and well not only in russia i just think it's so admirable that she put so much effort in the song and performance and i think it's so powerful of her that despite all of the hate and investigations that she's getting she is still determined to go to eurovision and also i think it's really cool and really special that Manisha, who is a feminist, pro-LGBTQ and very vocal about ethnic discrimination, is going to Eurovision for Russia. Apparently her mom said in an interview that the big jacket that she was wearing at the beginning of her national final performance will get an upgrade and will be made out of fabrics from all Russian regions representing every woman in Russia, which I think is so cool. Russia's entry this year is definitely one of my biggest favorites this year. The studio version is not as good as the live performance, but you know what? But that's a good thing at Eurovision because Eurovision is what? Live. And also the fact that she won this national final on International Women's Day with a song called Russian Woman singing about women's rights. The power that that has, the intelligence that that has, the clearance that that has, the access that that has, the influence that that has, the profile that that has, the international implications that that has. Her power is immaculate. Even though I love this song so much, and I think most of the Eurovision fandom does too, I am kind of scared that Russia this year will kind of have the same story as Portugal did in 2019. Like they're both a pretty experimental song, loved by the fans, but possibly not really translating that well to the big audience. And also, Russia is competing in the first semi-final, which is so competitive. So that makes me pretty nervous about Russia's qualifying chances with an, in my opinion, awesome song like this. But on the other hand, I'm also like, Manisha is a performer. Like, look at her performances of Russian Woman and you know what I mean. Her energy is so contagious and if you look at how she staged her entry in two days for the national final, imagine what she can do in the time she got to prepare for Eurovision. Also, it's Russia. They've only failed to qualify once. Like, I can see this song ending up in the top 10, but then I feel like that's me being too optimistic and just being delusional, you know? Like, is it me being realistic or is it me just wanting Russia to win? so badly that I create an alternative reality in which you win. I guess we'll never know. Well, we'll know at some point, but yeah. <laughs>
So to conclude, I love this entry so much. I really hope that Russia will qualify this year and that Manisha will do well, which I can also see looking at how good Manisha is at performing. But since she's in such a competitive semi-final and since I'm scared that this maybe won't translate as well to the big audience, I'm also kind of scared. Anyway, I hope Manisha will show everyone who has been sending her hateful messages how it's done. And also for the Russian Euro fans who are pretty confident that they won't qualify, I hope that Manisha can prove them that she can and that she will and that's all for now let me know what you think of the song in the comment section down below and i want to thank you so much for watching and hopefully until next time dosvidanya